Hello everyone. Welcome back to English Flow. We make you speak to the world. In today's video, we are going to discuss about is it really possible to speak in English while living in a village or coming from a village? Yes, of course, it is really possible. But only out of dedication, determined thoughts and with commitment you can really achieve fluency in English. If you want to acquire any skill, this is the formula that you really have to put your effort Every day you have to spend time for acquiring that skill. Otherwise, we'll simply be lethargic, giving excuses, having this procrastination, saying to ourselves, if not tomorrow, day after tomorrow I will do it. Okay, I will give excuses to myself saying like, yes, of course, I come from a village. How can I speak fluently in English? As soon as I start speaking in English, people are going to criticize me, saying like, English is other language. Why do you want to learn those that language? Because what is your mother tongue? You have to speak in that language. And living in a village, trying to speak in English, that's going to be a big deal. Big deal. Because I have faced through that situation. Whenever you want to communicate, whenever you want to learn and whenever you want to express your thoughts in English, people will definitely mock at you. There is no doubt in it. And you cannot consider that as an excuse and you cannot leave the task as it is. Okay, people mocked at me, people criticized me, so I don't want to speak in English. Is that what commitment is? No. Whatever the thing happens, you don't stop in between. You keep going. You have that willingness, you will definitely go. If your future goals are oriented to English, definitely you will learn English. For example, you cannot expect everybody to learn your language. My mother tongue is Tamil. I cannot ex expect everyone to speak in Tamil. Or whenever I want to communicate, whenever I want to deliver a message, I cannot force somebody to learn Tamil. For example, somebody's language is Hindi or Malayalam. I cannot ask them, if you want to communicate with me, please learn Tamil. That's going to be so harsh. That's not how communication works. So if you see English is a common language, it's a global language. If you learn, you're going to heal so much of benefit out of it. End of the day, you're going to get benefits out of it. Because we find difficult with communication. When communication is fixed off, what else do you need? Your work will be at smooth functioning, your studies, or if you want to become a public speaker, all the other problems will be solved with one thing that is learning English. And coming from a village, even I faced to a lot of situations, a lot of troubles. I used to always search for a corner. I used to always search for an excuse where I can give and I can escape from there. If they asked me to address or speak in English, I would always find one or the other excuses. It doesn't mean that I never wanted to learn English. It means I was protecting myself. I was not wanting to face all those criticisms. That's the hard reality. And like me, don't give the excuse. I'm living in a village, so I can't learn to speak in English. No, you can definitely ace fluency in English. And how? Who is going to help me out, Sonia? Because I don't have a partner to practice speaking in English. How will I be able to speak in English? And what is the authentication that I'm trying to give? I know, end of the day, you guys are going to raise this question saying like, Sonia, you have learned to speak in English. So you speak on and on. You never consider us. You never think that we are beginners. No, I really consider. There is a big announcement that I'm going to make now. That is, there is a nine days challenge that I have designed actually. For those of you who want to speak in English from the scratch, who want to learn to know what are the actual problems that we face, what are the areas that, are we, that we have to improve, I have addressed in my previous videos also. But this 9 days challenge will actually motivate you, will actually make you to learn it. Because whenever someone else is saying, it happens that we don't take it seriously. But when we are on the show, when we are the protagonist, we really 
start doing something we take it seriously so that's what it is about these 9 days activities each day i will be giving different tasks and tips kindly try it out and it's not about just only you that i am sharing this share this with others also maybe on your social media you can post it on stories you can share it on whatsapp so we learn together it's not about one person learning the other person remaining in the same level no and i will also help you with different tasks this is going to be so exciting so thrill stay tuned for those 9 days tasks the tasks will be starting from tomorrow onwards from tomorrow there, there is like for 9 days there will be continuous videos that I'll be, that i'll be posting on youtube see you all in my tomorrow's video until then this is sonia signing off from you all bye bye take care guys